and welcome to News Now, Belmont Journal news show and community update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, we have the director and the treasurer of the Belmont Community Chorus. Thank you for being with us, Mary Louise Schechter and Patricia Behrens. It's our pleasure. Thank you for having us. Thank you. We want to learn more about the Belmont Community Chorus. What's the how this started, when, and please share. Well, um, I'll go ahead and uh, talk about the beginnings. So um, pre-pandemic, um, for about the past maybe 12 years uh, at the middle school, there was a parent-teacher chorus. Um, it was started, so it started at the middle school and it only went for six weeks from January to mid-February. And so some of the parents that we were at the time, you know, participating in this parent-teacher course, you know, were sad that it was only six weeks. And um, so there was a group that came together and decided that we wanted to start a community chorus. And so that's kind of how the Belmont Community Chorus started, so 10 years ago. And we had a couple of different directors, but Mary Louise, you've been with the chorus for how long? A long time, it's right? It's, it's a number of years now. I, I can't remember exactly. 2016, 17, not, not quite sure, but uh, yeah. Yeah. So she's, she's been a very, uh, she's been an awesome director and <laughs> um, presents us with a lot of wonderful music to sing. That's great. And what kind of music do you sing? Well, we have, we, I try to, I try to touch quite a gamut of music. First of all, I should say for the, for the community chorus, it is a non auditioned group. Uh, we, we have, if, if we're able to do um, uh, all four parts, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, it's great. Sometimes we are, are fewer people. Uh, um, so, so we, uh, I, I choose other arrangements, but, but I, I try to get some, some, some classical music, uh, some, some popular things. Uh, some some music, um, a, a, a gospel music particularly, uh, and and to try to to touch on a lot of different uh, uh, styles of music, um, to try to keep people's interest, and and then we usually in our performances also have some selections that we we uh, have for a sing along with the audience, so that's always a lot of fun too. Great and. What are the times that you are rehearsed, doing the rehearsals? Well, we've been doing uh, presently Tuesday evenings uh, from 7.30 until nine o'clock um, at the, uh, all right, you got to help me here, Patricia. You know, yeah, it's the it, Episcopal, the Episcopal Church um, near Cushing Square, that, that, and, that very big stone um, church. And you're currently doing rehearsals, right? We have been well. We yeah. We uh, certainly we had to close down. Um, Patricia, maybe you want to talk about that part of it. Yeah, as with everybody else and everything, we also had a shutdown a couple of years ago, and um, then in August, when things looked like things were getting a little bit better, and we all were hoping things would get better, um, you know, we all came together like this on a Zoom call and decided that we wanted to at least get together and sing a little bit. And so we did, I mean, just, just three times, but outside. So, um, you know, we, we met in one of the members' driveways and <laughs> set up chairs there. And Mary Louise brought a keyboard. And so we had some outdoor rehearsals. Um, and then we decided, yeah, it really would be nice for the, for the chorus to, as everything else is also starting up again and restaurants opened up and everything. Um, you know, that we wanted to really come together again and sing um, more earnestly. So, uh, and we used to always meet Monday nights, but um, just, you know, through a survey, we found out that Tuesday nights seem to be better for the majority of people. So we switched to Tuesdays and um, yeah. And so we're, you know, now we're indoors, you know, in the church with a lot of um, COVID precautions. Like we sing masked, we have special masks, these duck masks. <laughs> Um, you know, that we wear uh, and we, you know, we don't sit, we sit like three feet apart and things like that. So, um, you know, very mindful that we're indoors um, and singing, but it's, it's been fun to come together again. It has. 
great and the power of music and working together that is beautiful and i know you are inviting more uh people from the community to join right we would oh, absolutely Yes, we would absolutely love to have have uh, more members. Before before the pandemic, we had quite a good uh, a group of people. Um, I, th I think it's just been difficult for you know with everyone's uh, um, concerns in, in life of, of deciding exactly what they wanted to do. But we are definitely looking forward to having more members. And as I say, it's a non auditioned group. We 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 love to have people who just enjoy singing. I'm not looking for the uh, Pavarotti's of the world, or uh, you know, what, whatever other uh, uh, you, know, you know major performers, but uh, but uh, just people who who enjoy music and and um, I, I'm I'm happy to teach teach whatever I can to them. We, I always try to give everyone besides their their uh, hard copies of music to have uh, recordings online that they can practice with outside of rehearsals, so that they don't have to 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 feel that like if they happen to miss uh, one rehearsal that they're going to miss a tremendous amount. Um, so I I hope that that uh, in, entices a, a number of people to come and join us. And you are particularly. Oh, sorry. I was going to say we particularly need men. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Right. Right now we are we are very short of men. Uh, we we also encourage. Um, you know, there are some women who who have particularly low voices. Not that we expect them to sing bass, but um, you know, we've been drafted a few of them to sing the lower alto parts, and and it's kind of worked out. But we we are we are uh, we're definitely looking for men these days. We used to have quite a crew of of uh, of men who would come, but. Um, but also we want to invite everybody don't feel shy if you don't know what's your level of voice right oh ab absolutely not i said i i said i have yet in 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 all the years that i've been doing this kind of thing i have yet to have someone who absolutely could not sing uh Whatever, whatever I gave them, yes, it for some people who, who who think that they that they can't carry a tune in a bucket, uh, that many of them just need a lot of encouragement. They need some practice. They need somebody working with them directly. But that's what I used to do in in the public school teaching all the time. So so I would like to encourage people if they enjoy music, if they enjoy listening to it. Um, to, to come and, and and join us because because I, I'm sure I can help them learn how to negotiate all of it. That's great. And to register, ElmontCommunityChorus.com website. There is a connection to actually Patricia is is on there and a couple of, uh, there in indications of how to get in touch with us and what kind of. Um, COVID precautions we are taking and where we are meeting on, on, on Tuesday evenings. Uh, and uh, I think that's, that's the best, I think that's the best way to find us. That's great that you're following all the, uh, the restriction and regulations so people can feel safe. And also you're planning an, a, an upcoming event. Tell us about it. Well, Patricia, do you, can you fill us in a little bit on that? Do you know? Yes, yeah, so the Benton Library, which um, it's not a, it, it used to be part of the um, Belmont Public Library, but at some point they closed it. And so a group of people, um, private citizens, you know, kept it going. So they are having an open house or, um, or a book sale on Saturday, May 7th, I think is the date. Um, and, yes. uh, and so the chorus will perform in the afternoon, so I guess this book sale is between one and four, and we're supposed to come around three, three thirty, and so we'll be singing a few songs and also doing some sing along, um, you know, just to, for you know, just for fun, um, and that's really a lot of what it is with this chorus. It's just a lot of fun. It's it's low key. Um, you don't have to feel stressed. It, it, it's more the other way around. You know, if you've had a long day at work it's kind of nice to come to the chorus and and just um and just sing and it really it exists really for the joy of singing and the performances we have are not some sort of high powered you have to know everything by heart kind of performances at all but we perform usually in, in sort of for smaller groups i mean you know like like or or, or organizations you know like like this little library we performed at um, nursing homes, um, you know, stuff like that. At, at the bookstore in Belmont Center, you know, we performed um, around the Christmas holidays and 
you know, so and it's usually, um, as Mary Louise said earlier, a variety of music. So it's usually a variety of shorter pieces. You know, there are some courses that practice like one big work. But no, we have we have a selection of, you know, a variety of different types of music. And it's, it's you know, it's it's fun to learn, you know, these different songs. And um, so, yeah, we really do want to encourage people um, to join. You don't have to be afraid of making mistakes or you don't have to be afraid if you haven't sung in 30 years or if you only like to sing in the shower. That's fine. You know, <laughs> come come joy. It's really about the joy of singing. And it's low, low key, you know, no pressure. Um, not to say that we don't try to sing well, but, um, you know, but it's not the sort of high powered um, type of chorus. It's, it's really and the uh, yeah, a community tool, chorus. The excellent tool that we have is that uh, Mary Lewis is the director that she will guide the whole group. Is any um, age group that you are particularly inviting? Absolutely no, not. not um, I mean, you know, some, sometimes we've had younger ones. Sometimes we've had some high school students in in there. Um, you know, we're we're up to. I think the oldest one right now is my husband, who is eighty years old. Um, and so we're, we're we we run the gamut. We really of, of uh, some of our chorus members. Okay, it, um, it, it, in in choosing some music, do do you have some ideas? I'm I'm always I'm always open to to uh, ideas coming coming into me. It doesn't have to be all the things that just I choose for people. Um, we're from uh, what what do I say? We're, we're working right now. Bob Dylan, "Blowing in the Wind," to uh, something from the Beatles, to something from uh, you know very very current uh, very current music um, or, or or a classical piece. It, it it just it just kind of depends on on uh, the on the group of people I have and and what I think um, they're able to accomplish and, and enjoy. I think the enjoyment is the big part. If, if I see people leaving rehearsal with smiles on their faces, then I know we've done our job. This is something we all need to sign up. Please check out um, the website will be in the bottom of my screen. And anything you would like to add? That people I don't, don't think... even necessarily need to sign up. They can just come to the rehearsal. You yeah, know. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, people can just just come to the rehearsal. You don't you don't even have to sign up if you don't want to. But it's just that, as Mary Louise said, there's good information on the website about you know our COVID protocols and and the location, you know, at, at, at the church. It's a big church, and actually to find the room that we're in, you know, it's, it's up several stair you know staircases, and then to the right, you know, around. And so it's good to actually read what's what's there for directions, but. Um, yeah, people don't have to register. They, they can just show up if they want to, so. All right, so we want to invite the community to join the chorus. And yeah. it's uh, Tuesdays, uh, what time is the rehearsals? From 7.30 until nine o'clock. All right, you all know, you heard it from the director and the treasurer. Hope you sign up. Great. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. You're so welcome. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thanks for having us. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time. And this is where we pick up with the two lower parts, the beginning of America. All right, we got that. So we're at the we're at number uh, 77, top of eight. Two. Two.